Stories. Stories make you laugh. They make you cry. Stories can change your life. If you make them up, they can get you in deep shit. Stories are passed around. They live everywhere. They're about anyone and everything. Stories also live and die with people. I hurt my big toe last weekend. This one. It hurts like hell now, and I almost passed out when it happened. But this really, I mean, it's not saying much about me. My pain threshold is that of a toddler's. Is that blood? <laughs> I got to thinking about the various scars and injuries that I've accumulated throughout my small and insignificant life. This one, which you're not going to be able to see, the palm of my right hand in particular. It's like Harry Potter, except on my hand. It does really look like a lightning bolt. The other person who knew the story behind the scar has died. And if I died tomorrow, no one would know the intensely legit story behind the hand scar. Dun dun dun. I was eight. My dad and I decided to play shuffleboard, which is kind of an OP game. OP in this case equals old person. If you don't know what it is, basically you take these sticks, they're shaped like a C, and you push these discs down the court and try to score on these triangle things. Look it up. I'm not going to fucking explain it to you. I'm not a goddamn teacher. The pole that I had chosen had an open handle instead of having like a grip. So it was just an open, jagged handle. Probably in my child version had like spikes and razor blades and shit. So being the total asshole that I am, I was like, oh, I'm gonna push this disc really hard. I put it on the end of the handle and went ba-boom. And the impact of the, <laughs> the impact of the stick hitting the disc pushed that little razor blade edge right into my hand and caused this huge scar. Obviously, again, having the pain threshold of a toddler, I'm sure I was like, oh god, why am I dying now? My dad took me to the fire station, which happened to be next door, coincidentally. And they had a first aid kit, and they bandaged it up. Probably could have used stitches, though, because there's a huge scar right here. Was this story monumental? No, not really. I mean, it was an event in my life that happened, and obviously there's a scar from it. But the point is, stories are important. They live on through you. And it just kind of touched me that the other person that knew what happened to my hand right here isn't around anymore. And now you know, you 20 or probably less than that, people who watch my videos, some of whom probably count twice because you're impatient assholes and you click reload, which is fine with me. If you want to chalk up my view count, that's great. Stories are who you are. Good or bad, right or wrong, stories are you. I will never be a lady. Sorry I had to pause the washing machine. Damn you responsibility. Clean smelling clothes. Do you think that this bed looks like this normally? No. I do it to be polite. Because it's the right thing to do. Trick people into thinking that I make my bed. Which I can guarantee fucking tea you, I do not. Fuck. <coughs> I was eight. <laughs>